Friday and Good Morning Waverly. Good morning, Waverly. I'm Jacqueline Schutte. And I'm Kelsey Bemis. This is your web update for Waverly Newspapers. Three candidates are in the running for a city council seat after the death of Councilman Gary Borum. Waverly Mayor Bob Brunkhorst, John Campbell, and Barney Hilpert all applied to take Borum's place. The council will decide on Monday whether to appoint someone or take it to voters for a special election. That election could cost almost $10,000 if the council decides to hold it. And candidates running for mayor and city council seats met in a forum on Monday night. Waverly newspaper editor Amelia Dimitrova quizzed candidates running for seats in Waverly city government. The hour-long program allowed panelists to share their thoughts on the city, its growth, and the direction it's going. The elections will be held November 5th. A local World War II veteran was laid to rest this past week. Ralph Jewell was buried in Harlington Cemetery with military honors last Friday. Nearly 300 people came to Trinity United Methodist Church Tuesday to remember Jewell's life. He leaves behind his wife, Levon, six children, 11 grandchildren, and 11 great-grandchildren. He was 94 years old. And WSR is getting ready for the last regular home season game tonight. But there's another group besides the football team that's also part of Small Town Friday Nights, the Marching Band. This group of 130 high schoolers puts music in motion. They started in August and are performing for one of the last times tonight. Try to have a good time at, at rehearsal, but we also uh, push them to do, to do a good job. In a performance that includes the Beach Boys, Nicki Minaj, and the Black Keys, WSR chooses music that both performers and the audience likes. Crowds watching Friday Night Football support both groups wearing the black and gold. That when we do a halftime show here at, at home at Waverly Shaw Rock, the stands are full. You know, people people like the band. They don't empty out to go to the concession stand, or you know, they uh, they stay and support us. And I, I'm I'm very very thankful for that. And that's something that we we work towards. Senior percussion section leader Emma Withers says it's where many of her friendships have started. The band is not just like a class. It's a family and it's a place where people can look forward to coming to watch us. We look forward to getting together. Wartburg student teachers help to create routines. This year the tubas are getting a little more of a workout. Our tubas tend to be uh, kind of a wild living bunch and so they wanted to do some things instead of just stand there and so we're like okay why not. In addition to Friday night games WSR also plays at many other parades in the summer including the Iowa State Fair. The band also marched to the Outback Bowl last winter. I feel like it was one of a, once in a lifetime because I don't think I'll ever have a chance to play in a bowl game ever again in my life. They're going to Memphis to play at the Liberty Bowl in 2014. Withers says although she's graduating next spring, music is staying with her. Sports and other things can be kind of temporary like when you're in high school, but music and band can be lifelong. Tonight is the last performance for senior marching band members, something that one of the three field commanders, Kevin Hull, is excited for. Kind of upset that it's my last one, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. The marching band raised $1,200 at their soup supper this Wednesday, and they say it's thanks to their community support. The game is at 7 tonight, and the band will play at halftime. Thanks for watching this web update for the Waverly Newspapers. We hope to see you again in two weeks. Have a great day, Waverly.